Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Uh, tonight we've got Fears to Fathom Carson House. This is the third episode in the series. Uh, if you want to catch up on the other episodes, I'll leave a description in the... Uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description, not a description in the playlist. Uh, this is episode three. I'm going to go through all the episodes this week. Um, so, yeah. In the previous videos, we played Home Alone. That was about a, a home invasion. Uh, Norwood Hitchhike. That was about uh, a hitchhike uh, at night after a car broke down. Uh, Carson House. I have no idea what it's about. There's not a um, not a summary here. A new game. Fears to Fathom, Episode Three, Carson House, September twenty fourth. My name is Noah. I'm a twenty year eight. I'm a twenty eight year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as, a, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Uh, this is a laundromat. This is not a house. If we were looking for a house, we have come to the wrong place. Super void? Super void. Um, are we supposed to be doing laundry? Is this blood wash? Um, what? Leech. What? Where did you put it? Where did I put what? Where is bleach? I need bleach. Don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. That went on for quite a long time. Noah, wake up. You still think you can do this? I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. It was a nice neighborhood. Is it this house? Or is it this house? There we go.
Fake rock in the backyard. Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Uh, where is this fake rock? What's up? Who's your good boy? Uh, where is this fake rock? Is, is this not the fake rock? Why is this here? Old dog house. There we go. Come on, puppy. Come in. You want to sleep in the bed like a human? Do not disturb for any reason. Somebody's shooting a music video in here. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. Uh, fair. Is there not a downstairs bathroom? Oh, there it is. Gross. Ugh. You're not even doing it inside the toilet. How long does that go on for? Uh, Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn Cooper. The school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you are either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. Uh, I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been, been a good kid to him. If your dad does, uh, doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks of me, Raffle. Uh, I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. What did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel, uh, still feel stu so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend? Wink, wink. 100%, 100%, wink, wink. Uh, smiley face hearts. Uh, happy face hearts. Uh, this little baby. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. Raffle. I know, right? Just had the weirdest dream ever. Uh, Roy Carson. Thanks for taking the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha, -ha. he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him. Uh, and the house. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. I got an achievement for reading. Uh, you are a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. Right on it. 
All right, basement. Basement. Basement was a little too dark. Uh, almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Uh, where did the stairs go? There they are. Realized the house was way bigger than ours. Bedroom. I'm a bit surprised that they didn't reuse the house from the first game. Uh, bedroom. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. Couldn't open it from there. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Uh, but I need the key. Or I need the, um, the flashlight. Where's the flashlight? Uh, I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. It said something about I did have calculus homework or something, but I didn't see the rest of it. There's a camera. Is this where the flashlight is? Dog food. Dog food where? Uh, this is dog food. I see it. It says Bubba. Best meat with extra bone dog food. Is there another dog food bag down here? I'm confused about what's going on. Ah, oh, there we go. Where's the back door? Where's your bowl? Had to open the can. All 
来着？我是个 boy， 我是个 boy sick， 个 poppy。Hey kid, heard from Walter your computer was, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here. I I is that the end? Close you. Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. It's this one or this one. Meow, meow. Uh, Ale Carson five three eight seven. System has encountered a critical error. Uh, Trojan OSCEA. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, tell that uh, it's it's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download software from trusted sites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, -ha, yeah, hold on. It 
does have a TV, yes. It's on. Are you watching? Cat food? It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite dish. <laughs> Doesn't that just look delicious? We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. I hate the way this room is laid out. Okay, now while that's cooking, we can work on Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometime. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Next, we dip the cardboard into the milk. Also, I think you should get the gro groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. I'm on, oh, oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Cash in the nightstand. Oh God, I hate these ads. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well in the house. Thank you. Uh, where's the grocery? Can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. I'm the hand merchant. Uh, which way are we going? I guess we're going the right way. Nine twenty two. Don't get hit by the car. Canucks convenience store. Don't use a kickstand or anything. Uh, Choco spread. Strawberry jelly. Uh, Choco spread milk and eggs. Milk. And eggs. What are you doing? Oh, milk. Uh, 
Uh, what about eggs? Why is this a weird, like, mixture of American convenience store and uh, Japanese 7 Eleven? What is this stuff over here? Eggs. Okay. Uh, what you doing, doing? Uh, milk and eggs, garden peas. Speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Eve? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. You. I think she's more of like a goth. Goth milf energy. Uh, are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, house sitting for the guy Carson. You mean Alex? He goes to the school with my sister. Heard kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Uh, yeah, you guys have fun. All right, dude, see you at school on Monday then. See you around, Andy. Uh, honey. Uh, garden peas. If I were garden peas, where would I be? Uh, we just never shared the vibe is what I read, but I didn't actually see the first part of that. Uh -huh. Hey son, do you work here? I'm just here shopping. Ha, huh. okay son. Uh, my son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh, hold on, let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Could you get me one too? Well, I, I just... I tried. That's, that's, I got it for you. Uh, why, why won't you take the basket? Or... Okay. I guess I can get two mustards, see if that works. Where'd she go? Yes, this is for you. Go take it. Oh my fucking God. All right. Uh, garden peas. I'm looking for garden peas. Are you, are you garden peas? Can't even tell what you are. I'm guessing no. Garden peas. Uh, honey rice, Uncle Tony's only. Uncle Tony's rice. Um, ketchup. And we already got the milk and eggs. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. 
I'm gonna try to give you... Nope. Alright, I tried. I did my best. This isn't how bikes work. Nine forty six PM. I had to peek in, and I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. And I still had a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. Uh, where is the house? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this it? I think this is it. Nope. It's this one, isn't it? No, it is this one. This is right. I was right the first time. Groceries in the kitchen. Can I can I put them out somewhere? Or do I just toss them? There it goes. Okay. I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. At least it's closer this time. Still gross. Oh. All right, schoolwork. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Roy, Car Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO of the co-founder and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has alleg allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. Sources say Roy Carson had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter says Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her, so you, the reader, stays updated on the situation. Someone was at the front door. Delivery guy? Your delivery is for your medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. You must be at the wrong address. 
Uh, this is 224 Boulevard, right? You, it's ordered by the name of um, Roy Carson. Here. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside while, until the rain is over? It's probably not very safe to be out right here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Uh, I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. Thought I could watch some t TV while eating. Are we gonna eat the whole pizza like we ate the whole lasagna? Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Is this simulating a home invasion? Yeah, we're gonna eat the whole pizza just like we ate the whole lasagna. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Jack. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. <laughs> if you tell me what that radius of two squared is. Good night, Noah. Hope everything's okay. Sorry, I got cut up with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Heart. Smiley face. Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? I heard someone at the door again. I can't see anybody. You go away. to see the somebody left some flowers at the door to make of it. There's not like a vase or something around here. I don't see one at least. I've seen that picture before. That was in the, um, the Aaron Wise game. Why is there an open window just like in the bathroom? Yeah, 
that's just the recording area. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? I assumed it was the wrong number. It was a strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Program can't start because MSVCR71 DLL is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. Where's the puppy? Oh, he's in his, his little house. One thirty six AM. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Uh, are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you are going to be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Where did our message from Evelyn go? Uh, in that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be a prank by Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. Where did our um, flashlight go? Besides, him and Andy were the only one, only people who knew I was house sitting alone. Can hardly see anything. Suddenly very cold outside. I turned the power back on. So why why is the power shut off like right outside? You can tell someone to cut the power fr off from outside. It had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off now. Ooh, poopy. Zeke was acting very weird. You want to come inside? Come, want to come inside? Be a good boy. Come protect me from the scary threats. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday.
a strange gut feeling about the situation. Might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Uh, the door is open and everything is knocked over. Uh, there's a thing there. I believe that that's a person. Somebody knocked the blankets off here. Sounds like somebody's snoring. Zeke was acting very weird. You snore so loud, buddy. Come here. Come keep me safe. something downstairs. I could swear in my life I didn't turn that oven on. to go down and check. Low-key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Where did Zeke go? I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact, I could only ask Andy. Can you send me Tur Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark? 
Dude, he's at my place right now. I attributed all of that to lack of sleep. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck a sleepover. I was aware I have a tendency to be overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... The idea never even entered my head. I don't see anything on the monitors. Uh, dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Uh, she's in the house. I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. Uh... This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you. If I can't have you, no one else should. Okay, how far back is it going to set us? All right. What is that?
Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. We'll be... Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. There she is. Can we sneak out while she's doing that? What is happening? What's happening? I think I glitched out the game. <laughs> um, how, how do you survive this? There's the oven. Why did she spawn there? <laughs> what is going on? So, is she in the house now or not? Because she was last time. I like that the, um... The text message bubble is on the screen there. There she is. Felt my heart skip a beat. I talked about this a little bit in the, um, the bathhouse. Uh, it really annoys me when there's just one path to victory. Um, a game should have different paths to victory and different paths to success. Uh, if there's just one spot that you can stand where you're safe, um, it's not a super fun game.
seems like you've only planned for one one success state. So while she's in here, I should just be able to sneak out of the house. I should be able to go get Zeke. Zeke can protect me. What is she even doing there? Looks like she has an invisible tray of donuts or something. Is she searching? Is that her searching pose? She was at right outside the door to the room I was in. Thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treat me like shit. I know everything. I know you left me for her. But I love you. What about that? We deserve a second chance. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. If I can't have you, no one else should. out of my sight and in that moment I had to make a run for it. Oh, I've certainly found a lot of fail states for this game. the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her uh, cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that missed with me the most was the fact that that nothing was stolen from the house. 
It turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Survivor survived the third episode. Game by rail. Uh, so... Kind of feel like the writing gets worth, worse with every episode. Um, the the ex-girlfriend thing is... It's fine, it's fine, but... Uh, her just being under the, the influence of drugs and alcohol d isn't going to make her a murderer. Um, in in the second episode, you had the thing where it was like some guy breaks into your your hotel room, and then she's like, uh, "I'm pretty sure that there was a cult in, in that town." And it's like there's nothing that lends itself to that um, conclusion. It's a logical leap. Uh, The um the biggest problem with that episode was definitely that you couldn't like outsmart her. Uh, it would have been really nice if like while she was in that one room you could go over to the other room and then like slip past her. Uh that would have been really cool. It would have made me feel good. It would have made me feel very smart and very um very good at the game. Um if you could just like slip past her while she was monologuing that could be great too uh but you've only got one path to success there so it, it's a little frustrating that like you can't get out in front of her you have to wait for her to move you have to wait for her to be in the exact right spot um and then even if you whisper uh sh if she hears you then that's just game over like there's no way out um so those are my thoughts um hopefully with the Episode four, the writing gets better, and hopefully the, the gameplay is a little bit less frustrating. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Good night.